Hi, this is Ben. I work at Tech Impacts with SharePoint Online and Office 365. Today we're going to take a look at how we can use SharePoint Online to collaborate with external parties. So the first thing that we can do is to share just an individual document with someone using what's called an anonymous access link or an anonymous guest link. So I have my file here. I could select this. I could just go into the ellipses menu here as well that I have to the right of the file name to get a set of options here. And we have this get a link option. We see it up here as well. So I can click on that and what it's going to do is actually randomly create either an edit link or a view link. So when we click on get a link, this is going to allow us to create just a randomly generated link for this document. It's a URL, a web address that someone can click on and it will take them to this file. And we have two different options for the kind of link that we can make here. So we can either make a view link or an edit link. And both of these are no sign in required. So what that means is whoever has this link, that person now has some level of access to your document either to view and download the file or to actually be making changes to the file that lives in SharePoint. One thing that's really great about this option though, so if we create our edit link here and I click on create, I can actually set an expiration for this link. I can turn off that access after a certain amount of time so that I know that that's definitely not going to be, you know, permanently out there for people to be able to get. So, after a day, I can turn it off, a month, 60 days, or I can even use a, a custom amount of time and set this to 14 days if I want it to be two weeks or something like that. And you can always come in here and just remove the link manually as well. The link will not permanently give access to the file. So we can only use those links for individual documents. If I wanted to share a folder or even a document library, or this entire communication site, I would actually have to share it via authenticated access. So the person who I'm sharing it with is going to need to log in with some kind of Microsoft account in order for them to access what I'm sharing with them. So I can do that with this folder. I could share this to someone. I'll go ahead and invite my external email address. And so it's just telling me that this email address is someone who's outside of my organization. Just like I had with those links, I can actually choose whether this person is going to be able to edit this folder or the contents of this folder that I'm sharing with them or just be able to, to view and download the contents of that folder. I could put a little message in here if I wanted to. I can choose not to share everything in the folder. So if there are things that have unique permissions, inside of that folder, I can make it so that they can't see those items. They can only see the ones that are inheriting their permissions from the social media folder. And then if I wanted to, I could choose not to send an email invitation. In most cases, you do want to send that so that the person has a link. Let's go ahead and share this. So there we have that email from SharePoint saying that um, I shared a file with myself. Okay, so here is that message and I can go ahead and open up this social media folder that Benjamin Williams shared with me. And when I click on that link, it actually prompts me whether I want to use a Microsoft account or an organizational account. So if I already am using Office 365 with that email address, I can actually just sign in with that and be able to get in here. Um, otherwise, I'm going to need a Microsoft account. And so what I would use for this if I don't already have one, I can go ahead and create a Microsoft account right here. And I can just use the same email address that that folder was shared with. So even if I'm on Gmail or Yahoo or something like that, I can just sign up for a Microsoft account using that same email address and be able to log in here with that account and access the contents of that folder. So I can click on social media right here. That's that folder that I shared. And I have access right here because I happen to already be logged into my Microsoft account. So I can now contribute to this folder, adding documents in here, uploading files I might already have. So those are the two ways that we can externally share within SharePoint Online.
Thank you all for watching. Have a great day.